Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So thank you everyone. I want to give you guys a big huge thank you um, for all of your support. All of my subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, everybody new here. Welcome. Um, I'm just seeing what your person wants to say to you. Okay. Um, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Keep in mind, this is a collective reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. Okay. Um, and that's all right. Just don't try to force it. Right. Okay. So your person saying, I have to deal with my pain to be able to open up my heart to love again. Our connection is complicated. There are a lot of issues out of control. Yeah, no matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. Other people were, I want to say are. I don't know why. I almost said are when this came out. Other people are interfering and trying to control me. We need to let each other go. I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. I feel like this person knows that you're moving on um, and they're stuck in something. Like they're stuck like Chuck. Um, they're dealing with some kind of people in their life that aren't um, letting them go, that don't want them to come towards this connection. It's very complicated. I don't know what this person is in. I feel like it, it could be a family situation, could be another relationship. I wish you would knock on my door. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. I think that you are better off without me. Yeah, see, I feel like this person, they go in and out, you know, of wanting to come towards you, but saying, this could take them a while to get out of. I don't know. There are issues completely out of control in their life right now. Yeah, they sabotage this connection and they regret it. Um... So maybe they, they can sense that you're moving forward and they're feeling very inadequate. This person's having a very low self-esteem, um, low on confidence, low on strength. I'm, I'm feeling like they have a lot, like there's multiple karmic individuals around this person, okay? And it's almost like I can see them walking around them in a circle. This is what I'm being shown in my head. A bunch of people just like circling this person and they can't seem to break free from it. It is very complicated or there's a lot of chaos and drama maybe in the background. I've never loved anyone the way I love you. Please understand that I need my space right now. I fear you will never forgive me, but I'm not the same person. I never experienced this kind of intense connection before. Yeah. Um, they're hopeful that in the future, um, you guys will cross paths, right? Uh, or they, they are maybe hopeful that they can see you or bump into you somewhere. Yeah, please give me another chance. I feel like this person wants a chance to explain but these people circling them or whoever they have around them, they're, they're, it's almost like they're creating a, a chaos moment for them intentionally. That's sort of what I'm getting. Um, just to keep them where they are. I feel like the people around them feel very threatened. They know that this person, um, even I can see it in what they're saying, they're trying to change their life. They want to become a different person. They're, um, they're going through all of these thoughts kind of in hermit energy, right? Deep down inside. They're um, maybe trying to heal, too, from some things in the past, right? Um, they teeter back and forth between being hopeful and hopeless. And... Um, Whoever this is around them, they may feel very obligated to these people that are around them. Like, I feel like these people around them just keep laying their burdens on top of this person. They know they want to leave a situation. They, th whoever they're around, they know that this person is growing. I feel like they're growing. They're looking at themselves. They're having an awakening, but they're not really saying anything about it right now. They're just thinking to themselves, you know, that it's kind of like feeling sorry for themselves. I feel very stuck. It's really complicated. I got a lot to deal with right now. 
but there's no way I can get to you right now. And um, I, it's just, it goes from hopeful to hopeless, hopeful, hopeless, hopeful, hopeless, like, and this person, meanwhile, the people that they have around them um, won't let them, won't let them move on or grow in any way. Yeah, see, they're trying. They, they want to change. They want to be somebody that you can trust. They don't think they're going to get another chance with you or they maybe they're feeling um, like they, they have no confidence in the fact that um, whether or not they'll get out of that karmic situation. It could be a family situation that they feel very obligated to. But deep down inside, inside them, internally, I feel like this person is making progress in changing, okay? There's something about you leaving um, that this person can pick up on. Like, they can feel your disconnect. They know that you're leaving them behind. And that's triggering this person internally. They're dealing with their pain alone but yet at the same time, the people that, they're, that are around them can sense that this person wants out. Okay? I'm so in love with you. You are so perfect for me. I never want to see you hurt. Um, see, I never want to see you again. You hurt me. Um, yeah, I feel like that's your energy maybe coming out. Yeah, because your person says, but please forgive me. I know I messed up. I will take action soon. Please believe in me. I hope to have a future with you one day. Um, so I feel like this person is trying to maybe um, think of a way, uh, come up with some kind of plan um, to get away from this whole entire group. I'm really seeing like five or six people circling this person. Not like they don't want to let them out of their sight or something. Because they can feel that they want to break away. And they know that this person is thinking about you. I think about you so much. It's scaring me. Um, yeah, and it's all true. And you are moving on. You see, they know that. Okay. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm feeling Gemini energy too as well with the wishy-washy, you know, um, Hopeless, hopeful, hopeless, hopeful, <laughs> you know. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, see, there's people around them. I, I feel like these are people around them that do not want to let them go. It could be three feminine energies. It could be a family. This could be exes as well. Because they know that your person wants you. They want to feel love. And they, they want to feel like they're loved. Okay? And you make them feel that way. Whoever they're around just makes them feel burdened and stuck. It's very complicated. But you've waited too long already. I, this is somebody who waits with the Seven of Pentacles. You've been very patient. And I feel like you're just done. You know, you're in your chariot you're leaving the scene, um, you've been put through a battle, you've healed, and you're ready to move on. And you're doing it like with determination, like, I will not wait for this person to get their act together anymore. That's kind of what you're saying. I'm not waiting for this anymore. I'm out. Yeah, and they keep watching you. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a Leo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I've also got, um, you could possibly be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on Cancer. Heavy on Cancer. Um, but yeah, they're, they know that um, you're leaving them behind and you are their happiness. Okay? They're also starting to recognize the people that are in their life are only holding them back from their wish fulfillment. This person could be doing a lot of drinking, maybe numbing, okay? This is somebody who could have been very materialistic in the past. I feel like maybe they underestimated you. They could have seen you as um, somebody, you know, a peasant, right? Always having an empty basket. Maybe you weren't fast, fancy enough. You, you didn't... Um, 
you, you know, I feel like you were humble. You were humble. If you look at this picture, all of these feminine energies are all dressed up, looking all fancy, and there you were just working hard on something. Okay, a hard worker, not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, you, you may have, it's giving me the whole Taylor Swift song. Um, she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts, she's cheer captain and I'm in the bleachers, right? Dreaming about the day where you wake up and find that what, you, what you're looking for was, has been here the whole time, right? Um, yeah, then this is what they're, they're waking up and they're realizing what they've been looking for was there the whole time and you've changed. I feel like this person underestimated you. They compared, to, they compared you to other people and they deemed you as not being fancy enough or not having enough or something, but man, were they wrong? You're having a victory out here. You're in this sparkly, beautiful chariot, okay? You're in emperor energy. You know, you're feminine and masculine energy. You're very strong, very powerful, and you were always the blessing. Look, and you're a star. I've got the star staring at me here, and I didn't even notice. Yeah, you could be in the public eye. I mean, you're on a major glow up. People are um, attracted to you. Um, they're loving what you're doing. You, you're very intuitive as well. Um, you're, you, you're in this lovely healed energy, right? Where you're very, very strong, but yet you've got this sensitive sweet side about you. You're very calm. You're very peaceful. Okay. You're on a major glow up. Yeah. What you were looking for has been here the whole time. Yeah, and they just didn't know it. They, they didn't see your value. They didn't see your worth. They compared you to other people who were fancier than you. They could have chose those other people, but they ended up being karmic individuals. Okay, and um, now this person wants you. They see you as wish fulfillment. Yeah, they, and they don't want to let you go. This could be a twin flame soulmate connection. Not necessarily, though. I'm seeing somebody who's woken up and seeing that they always had what they wanted right, right there. It's, it's, it was here the whole time. You may have just been in jeans and a t-shirt, but that says nothing about what you're, all that you're capable of and who you are on the inside. And this person is now realizing that. I feel like they've learned a lesson. And um, you're elevating right now, okay? You're moving up in life. You're moving on and moving forward. You're in your north node here with the chariot. And I feel like um, this person is just trying to hang on to you, okay? White knuckling, not wanting to let you leave their life. They're realizing that um, you were it the whole time. And they didn't recognize it because, you know what, they couldn't get past the fact that you wore jeans and a t-shirt. You know, I feel like this is coming to an end. I also feel like you have transformed, okay, and you're putting the past in the past and you're moving on. You could be a Scorpio, a Gemini. Now this person wants to take action. Okay, not yeah, they see you. What you've been looking for has been here the whole time. Look at you. You're the empress. And now they're wanting to commit. They want to be with you. Period. Dot. They want to be with you, collective. Okay. Yeah, with the moon card, they don't know if they're going to get another chance. They may see you as being very mysterious. How did you go from somebody that they underestimated to an empress? Because this person put you through a battlefield. You had to learn too. You had to learn every queen in the deck, and you did. Two of cups, soulmate connection. I feel like this person, though, they were playing with other people. Um... They may, this could be the person, the people that they're currently with, feeling stuck maybe with someone else. And whoever they're with, they know about you, okay? Um, 
they're jealous. They're, they're in competition with you somehow, but they can't compete with an empress. You know, you could be very financially stable as well. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles and the star out here, um, you could have your own business maybe online, um, especially with whatever you, you were growing. This could be a project, a special project. Um, it's, it's becoming very abundant. Yeah, see, whoever is around this person is so jealous of you. They feel threatened. They know that this person can't take their eyes off of you. They know that you taught them a lesson. Don't judge other people because of a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Okay? Um, and I feel like they're creating a blockage. They're blocking your person from coming towards you on purpose. They're very jealous. And I feel like this is complicated because the jealousy and the rage is starting to reach like a danger point and your person knows it. Whoever they're with is so jealous of you, they may even want to come and try to do something or say something to you. So your person's trying to handle this with like kid gloves, okay? Um, yeah, see, because they know somebody is just irate. Um, I just feel like something could pop off at any minute and your person is trying to keep that under control because they don't want whoever they're around to come towards the empress. I feel like um, if they're currently with someone, whoever they're with only wants them for lust and money. That's it. It was all about passion and money. That's it. But your person, I'm telling you, they can't stop thinking about you. And they want to take this action. Yeah. It's like they, and that's what this is. They want to take this action, but then they turn around. Because I, I can feel this person just shaking as they hold this wand. Knowing that you're what they want. Knowing they, they're going to have to leave something behind to come towards you. Okay? Um... They need to choose a path. They need to choose one, and they can't have both. So they go from wanting to come in and communicate very quickly to, oh, my gosh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe there's an opportunity coming, right, um, that, that'll make things easier for me. Or maybe, um, maybe the collective will show me some kind of sign, or they'll come to my door. You know what I'm saying? They, they go from that hot, cold energy, but they're actually staring at this, at this decision that they have to make. And this is a very important life decision. For, like, this is pivotal for their future. They can either choose to remain in a karmic situation with toxic people who are trying to hold this person back from their growth, or they can choose... Um, the Ten of Cups with you, I feel. The Ace, or the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups with you. Okay, this is what they, and it's almost like they want to they wanna come towards you, but then they hold off, right? They, um, it's like they, they, they work up some confidence and they know what they have to do, but then they get scared and they back down. Um, so I don't know. I feel like this this person is just trying really hard to manage the anger and the jealousy um, off of other people in their inner circle about you. I feel like there could even be a lot of fighting about you as well. Yeah, but you're look, no one can compete with this. You're everything. You're literally everything to this person. You're and look. If they were thinking that you weren't enough before because you weren't flashy enough, right? She wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts, right? Well, look at you now. Look at you now. you got a full-on gown here. You've transformed yourself in your life. You're absolutely stunningly beautiful, independent, abundant. Um, you could be a boss, business owner. 
they didn't, I feel like this person compared you to others. They didn't think you were enough. But now no one compares to you. Okay? Yeah, they know what they have to do. And it's going to, they know it's going to take like a magic act to pull this off. Right? You may not feel the same way about them anymore. You may not trust this person and you're not about to get yourself into a karmic situation. You've got too much going on here. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay, what else can you show me? You could be dealing with a Capricorn or they could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. Okay, something just flew on the floor. Oops, sorry, my bad. Yeah, this person's in a lot of regret for ever turning their back on you. They know whoever they chose over you, those, I feel like those people were inadequate for them. And they turned their back on the one person who was going to rise to an empress. This person feels, I, I kind of get the sense they're ashamed, they're embarrassed, they feel like a fool, they're in a lot of regret. They could be praying for divine intervention right now because of what they're stuck in. And they see you out here single with everything to offer someone and more. Okay. Yeah, and they definitely can't stop thinking about you. They could have had somebody who loved them unconditionally on top of it all. So I feel like this person, they want to come towards you. I feel like they've been wanting to communicate for a long time, but the people that are encircling them in their life won't let them forward without a fight or without some kind of threat to you. Okay, that's why it's complicated. You know, that's why the situation is out of control. And they're trying to manage it the best way they can. I feel like this person is, they're kind of, they, it feels like they have their back against a wall and they need to come out with the truth and make a decision for their life. Otherwise, they're going to be stuck feeling like this, you know, longing for you the rest of their life and being burdened by everybody else. Anyway, collective, um, that's what I've got for this quick check-in. I just wanted to check the end. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick check-in, seeing what's going on in the background. So I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Like and subscribe to the channel. If you like this vibe, right, join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.